I'm so excited that the uh, rains have ended with winter and we're moving into spring and the, I've noticed down at the nature area near my place that the flowers, the wildflowers have started to bloom. And I love to take wildflower photographs, but one of the things that's always uh, been problematic is that the wind will move the flowers around. I need some kind of blocking device. And the second thing is sometimes I want a different background. I'd like just that wildflower to be against a nice black background or uh, something plain and simple behind it. So I came up with a simple little device, very inexpensive, you can make in just a matter of minutes that will really help to use the natural light to create beautiful wildflower photographs. So, first thing you need is just a simple plastic storage container with a decent amount of height to it. And there are various sizes you can use, so there's a balance between how big it is and the portability and the types of flowers you can photograph, but this one will work well. The second thing you need is either a pair of scissors or a pair of tin snips or something that can cut through the plastic easily. In this case, I'm going to use this pair of tin snips, so I have made one with the scissors as well. Then you need some kind of black background. And in this case, I have a piece of black cardboard and then I have a little piece of black velvet. And I prefer the black velvet just because you can see uh, black mount board in comparison is really just a dark gray where I really like a nice rich um, black background. Then you need some kind of tape. I'm going to use duct tape, but really anything uh, with decent adhesion is going to work fine. Okay, so I'm going to take the lid off. I am going to take the pair of snips and I'm just going to take one of the sides and cut an opening into it. And this is the trickiest part because of the lip that's here. When it goes through it, sometimes it splits a little, but it doesn't have to look beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and cut through it. And it did exactly what it normally does. It kind of breaks up a little bit, um, but in the right direction is the good news. And I'll just work my way up a little bit higher. Great. Then we'll see how we do on the other side. So I'll start it up there. All right. So now you can see what we're going to do is to shoot into this area and use this as a wind block um, around our uh, position that it sits. Okay. Last. I'm going to take the black velvet and make sure it's going to work out well. Absolutely. Take a little bit of duct tape and just roll it over. Wonderful. Okay, so there you go. Now let's take this out on location, see what kind of photographs we can make with it. So here's my initial setup. Simple camera and a nice uh, flower that I want to photograph and you can see what the image looks like. Now I'm going to insert the windbreak with the black background and all of a sudden the flower becomes stable and the image is transformed. As a side note, I have this simple Ziploc bag filled with rice to enable the low angle shooting without the need for a special tripod. So that's all there is to it. Now go out and take some wonderful photos.